Thank you for tuning in to Being Brunswick with the Brunswick County Chamber. I'm your host, Megan Bishop. I would first like to thank my sponsors, Dane Delane Salon and Ocean Isle Beach and Surf Unlimited. You will see my different trends and hairstyles and makeup throughout the show. Today, we are actually at one of my sponsors' salon in Ocean Isle Beach, Dane Delane with Erica Edwards, and you will get to see the whole process that we go through every single month. The hair, the makeup, the wardrobes, and everything. So stick with us for a fun show. with Erica Edwards with Dane Delane Salon. Thank you, Erica, for being on the show today. I'm excited to be here. I know. I'm Erica is my sponsor um, for my show, so we're actually going to show you the process mm -hmm. of when I come in the door before the show, um, and I come in like this, mm -hmm. and we're going to show you the process of hair and makeup that yes. we go through every month, and um, it's a process. Very early in the morning. <laughs> it felt 7, 7.30. Um, so Erica has to come in um, sometimes on your day off mm -hmm. and you do hair and makeup before the show and then um, Lee at Surf Unlimited does wardrobe so mm -hmm. I'm very thankful for my sponsors so thank you again Erica. My pleasure. We're going to do a little background on the shop. Mm -hmm. So tell me um, the history of this shop and how long you've been open. We opened May of last year so 2015 and we are a Veda concept salon so strictly Veda. Mm -hmm. We love it. We love yes. the product. Um, before that, um, I worked in Myrtle Beach for um, about a three and a half year period. Um, before that, I was in Charlotte um, with a, a Veda Lifestyle Salon there. So, been with Aveda a long mm -hmm. time, 16 out of the 19 years wow. that I've done hair. I was four when I started. <laughs> um, but um, that just shows my dedication and love for the product and the clientele mm -hmm. and the whole lifestyle that. And encompasses that. And you continue to go to workshops, I know, um, about constantly. once a month, um, um, learning new techniques and new t um, products and all that. So. Yeah, they are probably the best in the industry at education. Oh. So I take full advantage as much Absolutely. as I can when I can sneak away from being behind the chair here. So We're going to get Liam to talk about the products mm -hmm. in a little bit. Um, tell me a little bit about the name of the salon. Well, Dane is my six-year-old son and Delaney is my 11-year-old daughter. So when we were trying to decide the name, of course they were involved, and um, that just seemed like the best fit. It's special. Um, although Delaney was like, I think it sounds better without the Y. <laughs> it's, it's more regal without the Y. So I said, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, so, I love it. Yeah. Cute. Um, we're also going to talk about um, a lot of fundraising that you do for yes. other chamber members mm -hmm. around the community. Um, we're actually going to have Haley on the show mm -hmm. later. I'm so excited. Um, so we're going to talk about some details later on. But mm -hmm. you also um, do a lot of fundraising here in the shop with Aveda products. Yes. Um, so behind you we have some um, brown boxes. So tell us a little right. bit about that. Well, the brown boxes are actually the um, Operation Christmas Child boxes um, pre-wrapped for the clientele to come in and pick up. Um, they can fill them up or they can donate for us to fill up. Mm -hmm. um, but I love the brown packaging just because they can write mm -hmm. messages to the children, drop pictures on them. Delaney, of course, loves that. Um, so those are available um, through November usually mm -hmm. at the shop, but I wanted to include them in the show um, and our, our tree, which is great. So It's cute. Um, but also, and Liam will go into more detail about the Aveda boxes are actually um, handmade paper out of Nepal, um, which goes to support that community also. So That's, Aveda continues to mm -hmm. do things like that, and I love to throughout see, the year. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about the little guy or girl behind us <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, that is Cinnamon Candrima. That is our <laughs> salon elf on a shelf, and she'll be doing some special um, things throughout the holiday season. Cute. So if you are on Instagram or Facebook, be sure to um, follow us. Um, and check out what she's doing because she'll have some definite special treats for everybody. So. Erica, what's your mission here at the salon? Our mission is to provide um, the utmost relaxing experience for the guests as soon as they walk through the door. Um, I love it when they come in and as soon as they walk through, it's a <sighs> and you can see the stress melt away. Um, and for that to continue as they leave our salon too. And for example, when you come in and, and um, Liam's washing your hair, he also does a hand massage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just little things like that mm -hmm. that make your experience excellent. Mm -hmm. And I do walk out here and I'm just, I love to be here with y'all, um, both you and Liam, and um, it's the best experience. We love having 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, like I said before, um, our viewers are going to get to see before and mm -hmm. after with me. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to get ready to um, actually color my hair first. Well, I'm excited because not only do they get to see the color process with you and see a pretty big change we're going to make today, but they get to see what we go through once a month to get you ready for the show. So um, hopefully they'll be excited about that because I'm excited. Yeah. So we're going to get started. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Liam, Erica's assistant here at Dane Delane Salon Studio. I help her throughout the day, just trying to get everything done and accomplished here. We have a lot going on. <laughs> um, I'm going to be talking about some of our holiday products as well as our regular products that Aveda has here. And um, what we're going to start with is some of our Christmas gift sets that we've got going on. We have, let's see, the first one is a lovely comfort and light candle. Now this has a great scent that's exclusive for the holidays. It's um, the same scent as our Candrima um, Lotion Pure Comfort set, and that's a uh, ginger and ginger lily. Now, I can't tell you how great these candles smell. Um, I don't think words can really express that. <laughs> um, it's kind of like the holidays have just lifted your spirits and you can really just take a deep breath and relax whenever you light one of these. And they are soy based, so if you've got like a little dry spot on your elbow or something, take a little drop of the wax, rub it right on there, you're good to go. <laughs> um, we also have a Make Her Smile lip set. Now this has two colors, a uh, soft pink and a soft gold. Now they're kind of sheer and they work great by themselves or you can put them over anything else. Um, we also have the Pure Comfort Candrima set. Now this comes with, let's see here, a cream cleansing oil, a body moisturizer, and a hand relief with the Candrima scent as well. And the Candrima is also the ginger and ginger lily scent. Now it's exclusive to just the holidays though, so you gotta get these before they go. <laughs> now this is our new skincare line, and it's dealing with um, Ayurvedic um, skin traditions and stuff like that, and what the Tulasara skin line is designed to do is take care of all of your skin needs in the most simple way possible. So what you would start off with is the Radiant Oil and you have a daily Radiant Awakening ritual. Now that starts off with your dry brush on clean skin. You're going to go in and exfoliate. Then you take the Oleation Oil and you massage that in all over where you had just um, dry brushed. And then Aveda recommends leaving that on for like five to 10 minutes, maybe drink a nice hot cup of tea in the morning, relax, and then after that, go ahead and clean that oleation oil off. And then we have some really great concentrates that go on afterwards, and you apply that in the morning and the night. And uh, we have one for calming the skin, one for brightening the skin, and one for firming the skin. And me and Erica have both tested these. We got them a few months ago before they were released, and we love them. Do them every day, you can't skip. <laughs> and um, I'm actually using the calming serum, and it works excellent. I mean, I can't speak highly enough about it. Now, you can kind of see we do have quite a variety of different products for taking care of um, all of your needs at home. So over here we have quite a few of our skin care selections and body care. 
going from our botanical kinetics line to the tourmaline charged. We also have a all sensitive for anyone who's got a little bit of the more sensitive needs for their skin. Not to mention we had also gotten uh, facial sunblock this summer. It's SPF 30 and it works fantastic, especially since we're here at the beach, you want to make sure that you're really protecting your skin. And on the other side, we also have quite a bit of hair care. Now, we have everything for every different type of need that you might um, be seeing at home. We have a color conserve line if you're just trying to keep your color lasting longer. It kind of has like a sunblock built into it, into the shampoo and the conditioner and all that. Um, we also have an Invanti line, and that is for um, regrowing hair that might be thinning, keeping it thicker and everything. And we also have a men's line in that that was just released over the summer as well. Um, we do have a damage remedy for reconstructing um, overprocessed or damaged hair. Now, and we also have a dry remedy if you're lacking moisture in the hair. That will really um, amp it up a little bit, get all that hydration back in there. Uh, we do have a rosemary mint shampoo and conditioner as well and that's if you, um, you like that invigorating slightly tingly feeling on your scalp um, not to mention we also have our classic shampoo line and uh, we also have a dry shampoo in that which is excellent for those days that you're trying to avoid jumping in the shower and getting your hair wet you just throw some of that in your hair and you're good to go for the day whatever your hair might need We've got it here with Aveda products. <laughs> Not to mention, we also have a travel tower. So if you're heading out for the holidays or anything like that, you can come by and grab some of your favorite products in smaller sizes for travel. Okay, I'm getting my makeup done right now. This is Carrie. She is a friend of Erica's, and she helps Erica out with um, the wedding, prom, any kind of event. Um, she does makeup and helps Erica out. Um, so, Carrie, thank you so much for doing my makeup. You're going to see a few different looks, but this is the before, and then you're going to see a day look and a night look. So, stay tuned, and you're going to see the after. Okay, we are back several hours later. Erica just did my color, so um, it looks awesome. Thank so we you. did a fall color, but tell us a little bit about the color that you did on me today. We did a melting uh, effect with the color today, and she is um, a, a darker base melted into our blush copper, which is super shiny and warm, kind of chocolatey for the fall and winter. And I'm super excited. And we trimmed you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, gave you just a nice clean edge with a little bit of longer layering just for lift and it works really well with the nice Hollywood wave that you got going on there. We did curls um, for mm -hmm. now, but I think mm -hmm. we're going to see a different look in a little bit. Yes. So um, we're going to go up front and talk a little bit um, with Erica, but I love my new cut, love color, everything. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. Thank you.
We're back with Erica. We're at the front of the store. Um, we have had such a great day. Mm -hmm. um, we have gone through step one to the finished product with me yeah. um, for what we go through every month for the show. And we actually added in color today. We don't normally do that every no, month, no. but it was needed. Mm -hmm. So I love my new fall color, oh, so thank too. you. And we're almost done, but we're going to talk about a few more things. Okay. Um, we are going to have a Christmas party for you through we the are. chamber. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the date and what you have going on with that. It's December 15th at 5 p.m. until, because mm -hmm. we like to have fun, so <laughs> be prepared for that. Um, we are just going to be celebrating the year, the holidays. Um, we're going to have some nice giveaway prizes. One of them is our raffle basket and it's going to benefit our local hospice, Lower Cape Fear Hospice, and Miss Haley is here to tell you a little bit more about what that means. Um, they're near and dear to my heart. Um, we've been affected in our family um, and they've stepped in and really been a huge blessing. So I like to give back mm -hmm. to them as much as possible. Can you actually go visit some of the patients? Group? I do. That just started this year. Um, I go to the homebound patients and um, do whatever I can to make them feel better. I love that. So, I love yeah, that. I do too. <laughs> We've had a fun day, um, but I know you post a lot on Facebook and you also have a mm -hmm. website. So share with us um, the Facebook information and website information. Um, it's Dane Delane's uh, Salon Studio on Facebook and Instagram. Um, the website is danedelane.com. Um, the phone number is 910-575-8100. Um, our address is 100-4 Causeway Drive, Oceanal Beach. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that covers yeah. just about it, everything. And um, like I said, you have great service here, so I would highly recommend anybody that's interested to, yes. to come see you. Um, you can do color, you can do cut, you can do so much. Yeah, unfortunately right now, because we're a small studio and it's myself and Liam, um, hair services are what we're limited to, mm -hmm. um, but pretty much anything pertaining to hair, from yeah. cut and color mm -hmm. to extensions, um, you know, hair and makeup, mm -hmm. obviously, um, special occasions. So we try to do whatever we can in that area. Well, a special thanks to you for being my sponsor for the show and to you and Liam and Carrie for all that you did today. Um, we're going to go talk to Haley, but I appreciate all you did today. Thank You're you. You're welcome. My pleasure. with Lower Cape Fear Hospice. Thanks so much for coming to Erica's Salon. No problem. We're going to talk about your connection with Erica in just a little bit, but tell me um, your position at Lower Cape Fear Hospice. Okay. I am the Community Outreach Coordinator, so I provide community education to the general public, but I'm also in charge of volunteer services. Okay. And how long have you been there? I've been there for two and a half years now. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, and Eric and I talked about this morning, a lot of people don't want to talk about this subject. Um, so let's start with a little bit of history of hospice itself. Well, Lower Cape Fear Hospice actually started as a nonprofit organization, but it was a volunteer service around 1979 in the Wilmington area. And basically a group of doctors wanted to come together mm -hmm. and provide end of life care with this hospice movement that mm -hmm. was coming to the United States. They started gathering different volunteers to come on board and we actually served our very first patient that was a UNCW nursing student that had originally signed up to be a volunteer. Uh, her name was Sandy Morgan and we really started to emphasize our volunteer services this year in honor of her and we call wow. it the Morgan Way. Okay. And how many volunteers do you have right now? For Brunswick County, we have about 250 volunteers throughout the county. And, I mean, I know how important volunteers are. Um, we're always looking for them at the chamber, mm -hmm. but I um, also am a volunteer in the community. Tell us why volunteers are so important with your company. Well, we are the only nonprofit hospice in Brunswick County, so we do rely on a lot of donations mm -hmm. and volunteer services to enhance the care for our patients. We are providing the medical care, but hospice is a more holistic approach. Mm -hmm to a patient's end-of-life care, so we're not just looking at the medical needs, mm -hmm. but the spiritual and the emotional needs, and also the social needs. A lot of times when a patient goes into hospice, people start to pull away, because right. hospice is a scary word mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Um, what they don't realize is that person is still living and they need that interaction. 
So volunteers can go in and provide that respite care for a caregiver. Okay. They can provide social and emotional support for a patient. Um, and it's something that they desperately need that people kind of forget that they right. need at that time. Are these volunteers going in on a daily basis or a weekly basis? It kind of depends on the particular situation. Okay. But usually what will happen is a request will come from the patient or the caregiver to the social worker. And they'll kind of tell me what the needs are, if it's a once a week visit or maybe okay. three or four times a mm -hmm. week. Um, and we try to find the volunteer that's willing to go and do that. Some patients have more than one volunteer to provide the needs, but then some patients just want to have someone come by every now and then. A just rough number, um, how many patients do you think you have right now? On a daily basis for Brunswick County, okay. we have about 110 patients. That's a lot mm -hmm. for just this county. Yes. Wow. And I know Erica gave an example earlier about her going in and, and cutting hair, and I just mm -hmm. think that's so special that um, someone that has a business here, a small business, can go in and help yes. as a volunteer in the community. Yes. So, um, let's talk a little bit about your partnership with Erica. Okay. <laughs> Tell the viewers um, how y'all started or how y'all connected um, with your business and her business. Well, originally I had met Erica. Um, she's a wonderful hairstylist, <laughs> yes. and so many people had referred me to mm -hmm. her. So I, she actually cut my hair, okay. um, and I saw what a wonderful job she did. And as we were talking, she found out that I worked with hospice, and she wanted to know how she could get involved. Um, I think originally Erica did a fundraiser for us, and then she um, thought she wanted to become a volunteer with us. And so we kind of sat down, talked about what that meant, mm -hmm. going over privacy issues for patients. But then she said, this is something I want to do. And with our expansion of volunteer services with the Morgan Way, one of those positions was cosmetology. Um, we do have to have a licensed cosmetologist to go in and cut the hair. Mm -hmm. But Erica does a fantastic job, and I think all the patients that she goes to visit, when she <laughs> leaves, they feel like they just had a makeover. Right. Oh, and we so. talked about the experience earlier, and even though they're not in the salon, I'm sure that they experience that yes. um, experience I, as well. Yes, I was very fortunate to go with Erica on one of the haircuts, mm -hmm. and from the beginning when she walked in, she just poured out so much love to this family, and the lady was sitting in there, and Erica did just like she would mm -hmm. in her studio. Um, and then whenever she left, I remember the caregiver tried to pay her. Oh. And she said, no, I'm doing this because I I'm want to. Oh. And I'm a volunteer with That's hospice. Sweet. That gives you chills. Yeah. <laughs> that is so sweet. Oh. Um, and Erica goes in and volunteers and cuts some of the patient's hair, but also she does um, some fundraising for you during events. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about, I think she's doing it um, December 15th for mm -hmm. the Chamber event, but what has she done in the past to help um, y'all with some fundraising? Well, in the past, she did a little um, donation as people were coming in. She let them know that she was raising money for hospice. And then the last time, I believe she matched what the community gave towards wow. that. Yeah, it was a very generous donation, and we really do rely on the community for stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, we do get reimbursement through Medicare and Medicaid, but it definitely does not cover the cost for a patient's care. Mm -hmm. So when the community gives a donation mm -hmm. like what Erica did, it just goes to help cover that cost. Wow. Um, we really feel that nobody should be turned away due to their lack of ability to pay, yeah. and so we will never turn away a patient. Haley, if a volunteer or somebody in the community that is interested in volunteering, do they have to volunteer for a certain time on a daily basis or a weekly basis? No, it's basically on the volunteer schedule. Okay. Um, I say that a volunteer can offer one hour a month, they can volunteer one hour a year, or they can make it a part-time, full-time job right. <laughs> and volunteer as much as they want. It's really based off of what they're able to do. Okay. Haley, what does a hospice patient look like? Well, a hospice patient has been given a prognosis of about six months or less with any life-limiting illness. A lot of people think it's cancer, but that's just what it started out as. Now we serve pretty much any disease that a patient may be facing at end of life. Um, a patient has also um, kind of flipped their frame of mind. They're not looking for aggressive treatments at this time. They're really wanting to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, we usually offer palliative care, which is just comfort care, and we just look at what's going to make 
this patient's last days the best it possibly can be. We really view that quality of life is better than quantity of life. Well, we hope um, today some of our community um, individuals that are watching the show will become volunteers. Yes. Um, there are always needs for volunteers mm -hmm. in this um, county. And if somebody, again, if somebody was interested in volunteering, will you repeat the website again? Yes, it's www.lcfh.org, and those are the initials for Lower Cape Fear Hospice. Okay. And where is your office located? We have an office in Bolivia. It's 955 Mercy Lane. Um, it's located off of Old Ocean Highway, but we do have several locations throughout different counties. Okay, and what's the phone number there in case they wanna call and ask any questions? They can call our office at 910-796-7900. And again, we appreciate you being on the show today. No and if anyone is interested in donating, hopefully they will join us December 15th here yes. at the salon. Um, last year we had people in the parking lot. It was <laughs> such, it was a big party. It was a lot of fun so they can make donations mm -hmm. there. Um, so again, I appreciate you being on the show today. No Thank you.